Hi everyone, Keith here. Just going to do a short video about what I do about uh, pest and disease. Um, I have a preventative measures. I do preventative rather than try and cure something. So I try and get on top of, you know, treating the plants before you have problems. Instead of the opposite way around, what a lot of people do, they reach for the products once they've got a problem, once they've seen a pest, they will reach for chemicals and stuff. Um, I'm not all for chemicals, I don't use many, um, but my regime is as follows. I have a pump sprayer, which I feed my orchids and stuff like that, foliar spray, I've done some this morning. Um, but I'll just clean it out, put some cold water in there. I don't normally use, I either use RO or tap water. I don't use rainwater when I do a treatment because I just want to keep it nice and clean. Um, and my first treatment, what I've done, I've used Ultimate Bug Killer. Now, a lot of people don't like this because of the chemical that's in there, bad for bees. But I don't use it outside. This is purely for indoor use, purely for in my greenhouse. I wouldn't advocate or use it in the garden. That's a personal choice. A lot obviously do. I don't. I just use it sealed in my own greenhouse, my own environment. B gets in there, obviously it could kill it. You use it in the outdoors and obviously you could kill a lot of bees, but I, I don't, I leave it in, purely use it indoors, and I don't think that's doing any harm whatsoever. And what that does, that will give me protection for white fly, green fly, aphid, woolly aphid, um, and protection for three months, which is systemic, which means it gets into the plant. So the plant takes it in, um, and then, the pests has a munch on the leaves and hopefully they die it's all about control you can never well you probably can but you you're going to be struggling if you can eradicate every single pest and problem then you're a better person than i am it's very difficult there's always something you're battling with uh, fortunately for me at the moment i'm pretty damn clean i've got to admit i've not got anything at the moment so it's i normally battle with aphids in winter um, and you don't want those then what I do, I use SB Plant Invigorator and Bug Killer. Now this kills, well, controls, all about control up. They use now. So it's for white fly, aphid, spider mite, mealy bug, scale and mildew. Uh, it's non-toxic, physical mode of action. That's the important part. That's systemic, so it gets in the plant. This is a physical mode, you've got to cover the plant. It can kill on contact. So I, will, I won't use it straight away. That will give me three months protection I'll only use that once every three months so that's four times a year that's a systemic control then I'll use this if needed I don't use it much but if so in a week's time I might think right I'm gonna give them all a good spray in with that okay and then that's it that's all I do um, I've used fungicide before on um, cymbidiums because sometimes the leaves get a bit messy but in general that's it, that's all I do. The only other thing I have got is my sulfur burner. This comes on an hour a night. And it's a hot box and it burns sulfur. There's my cup, there's my sulfur, the heat comes on and that, you can see the sulfur look, and the sulfur goes into the atmosphere. It smells a bit eggy in the morning sometimes and that is meant to prevent uh, or help prevent mildew, botrytis, that sort of thing. It's also meant to deter pests. And funny enough, what I have noticed since having that, snails, slugs, I've not had many problems with them. I've had the odd one, which you will get, but that seems to be a lot better. So I'm really happy with that. I've been using that for about six months now, over winter and into spring. Um, you, got, you have to have the green ice closed, that's why I've got a timer up here there's a timer up the top there and it comes on about two o'clock in the morning for an hour and it just burns sulfur and the fans will blow it around the greenhouse and that's for every night so it's little and often so all i will do with this i've had to give it a good pump in and basically instead of me foliar feeding today or giving them a foliar spray i'll just spray them no messing about it's on a nice day, really sunny day today, outside, I won't believe it because I've got my shading on now, um, but it's really sunny look outside, that's where the shading's come off there, I've got to do something about that, get it back covered. So that's those done, 
and you just, you know, it's as easy as that. Now, I'm pretty ruthless at this point, to be fair. I just give everything a blast in. You're going to spray flowers, you've got to be careful. You don't want your flowers, if you spray them, you're going to spoil them. So, if you want your flowers, don't spray them, just spray the leaves. There's nothing there, looks pretty much green, so I'm not bothered about them. So that's them done, and those done. And that's probably used up, let's have a look. How many litres? I did four litres. Probably used up a litre there. So that's a lot of plants done. What I'm going to do, spray the whole greenhouse. It's a really nice day. And get the doors and windows open because I've got mainly Mazda Valleys in here, Neo Finetias up there. I'll give them a light spraying with it. Everything, totally everything is going to get dosed in here today. And then a week later, like I said, I'll go with the SB and do exactly the same thing. And then obviously the SB plant invigorator after that, I might do once a month. And then in three months time, Bucky will come out again and then give that. I always keep a record in my little book in that box there. I've got records in there of all my feeds and everything I've got for about four or five years now, what I've done every every time I feed. Just a record, I'll just do it in that tub there, look. Put my feed in, and that might last me a week. You don't need to last longer than that, but that's another story, the feed. So there you go, pests. Keep on top of them, don't let them control you, you control them. Um, I sell those two products, obviously Ultimate Bug Killer, you can pretty much get anywhere. SB Plant Invigorator, well, you can search around, but we sell it at Orchid Supplies UK, if you want to have a look on there. Um, and yeah, join the Orchid Forum if you're not already on there. Like us Orchid Supplies UK page. And uh, I'll see you again soon with another video. Very soon. Oh, look, there's me. Uh, see that plant in there? What's that? Scorch. Before my shading went on, look. Shading's gone on now. And that's really shaded. This, this is on. This is full sun, by the way. Total fun. Okay. Thanks very much. Goodbye.